Well, Sheree, welcome to the program, your debut on Country TV. Delighted to have you with us and uh, always love hearing what's going on in the Golden Bay area. So how's it feeling at the moment? Oh, we're, we're really enjoying um, a really nice time of the year. It's, the weather's settled. Um, we're in the Goldilocks zone, I think. It's been far too wet up north and far too dry down south, but... Um, just quietly, we're in a, a nice little sweet spot at the moment where, yeah, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, we've had a little bit of rain, grass is growing, um, and if you can park aside all the um, issues that everybody's suffering with, with inflationary pressures and regulatory um, uncertainty, um, the actual day-to-day -day business of farming in the Bay at the moment is really nice. Well, I'm sure you're thanking your lucky stars for that with all the carnage that is going on, as you say, south of you and uh, north of you. Tell us a wee bit about your your farm situation in, in the Bay. I'm a very much a born and bred farmer. I'm uh, one of my fifth generation and my son, who works on our farm, sixth generation. Um, very small dairy farm, just with 150 cows, but we're a, a low input, um, yeah, just... Just small time farming, but it's been. Um, we must have a reasonably good recipe because it's uh, it's profitable and um, sustainable. We've done it for years, and yeah, it's just part mm. of the lifestyle. Of, yeah. So you're milking. Where does the milk end up? And you know, the collections go into Nelson, do they? Or no, we've got a factory here in Tarkaka, so we're all um, Fonterra suppliers. How long have you been with Federated Farmers? I got roped in three, four years ago. I did a couple of years um, on the Dairy Council, um, just yeah, getting a feel for how feeds works, um, and then to give Wayne the opportunity to focus more on his um, national role. Never, never aspired to you know to these kind of positions, but it's everybody kind of takes their turn. It's that sort of small country feel a bit that you you don't know what you're capable of and what you can yeah learn and the the skills that you bring to the table. How are you finding it so far? Good. I've I've learned all sorts of things. I um that I I've always followed a little bit um what's going on with um, politics and the like and it's just I think it's it's incredibly important that farmers actually take the time to represent themselves nobody knows farming like a farmer does mm. and I was getting increasingly frustrated seeing people um, suggesting what the experience of farming might be and mm. Um, it wasn't necessarily representative of what I knew, so it was, mm. um, and I, I think um, there needs to be a voice for all manner of farms um, mm. and farming, and there definitely needs to be the little guys in, you know, in the room as well. What about, the, so the conditions at the moment, fantastic, I imagine great grass growth and all that sort of stuff. What about winter coming? Are you feeling pretty confident that everybody's well set up for that? Yeah, we don't have a lot of um, intensive winter grazing. The amount of um, crops that go in is, is um, not significant. Um, mm. We've worked closely with the council to understand the obligations on farmers and um, definitely environmental awareness is uh, on an increasing trajectory. Everybody is a lot more informed of what their right responsibilities are. Mm. And as you know, working closely with the council, they are really happy with what they've seen in the Bay. So mm. um, pretty confident that, that winter won't be a problem for us. Wayne has been a fantastic uh, ambassador for the, your area and also, of course, doing a wonderful job now uh, on the national scene, as, as you like. So what do you hope to bring to the role for Golden Bay? We're one of the smallest provinces, and so um, it's not everybody's cup of tea to turn up to meetings and advocate you know, on behalf of farming. So um, it's just everybody playing their part and continuing to work together. We, you know, environmental issues... Um, are one of the things that are coming, to, you know, towards us quite quickly, um, and so we just need to be 
prepared to work collaboratively. And I think that's one of, you know, like I, I come as a mum and, a, you know, as a farmer and, a, and, a, um, and understanding that no one person has all the answers. And so we are much better if we work together and we we try and um, find the solutions to make to keep farming as enjoyable and um, as sustainable as we can. You know, it's, it's ingrained in our community. Um, and I would I would hate to think at the end of my time and look back and go, oh, gee, I had an opportunity to do something and I didn't. And look where, you know, where farming has got to now. And I'm kind of, in my very small way, want to make my, you know, contribution to making sure that farming continues to be sustainable and ingrained in our community.